What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, you guys, I'm going to keep on working on this junk journal that I made a while ago. This is a junk journal that I made for Teresa. She is a subscriber and she sent me some awesome stuff. She sent me a big old box. She sent me some awesome socks that I love. And so I want to send her back some stuff too. So I'm going to send her this journal here that I've been decorating now for. I did, I think I decorated this um, one episode and I did one signature. This is of course a three signature journal. So we are just ready to keep working on it. Um, I have other journals that I need to decorate. So I'll probably be decorating journals for a minute. So get ready for a lot of junk journal decorating videos. Hey Jen, what's up? Hi Stephanie, I missed you guys. I was gone for a couple of days. <laughs> I was uh, recuperating, <laughs> but now I am back. I think I needed to move my camera a little bit further. Now it looks a little bit better. I'm happier with that. Anyways, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I know everybody's like, ah. okay. So I um, this journal here. I've already um, put my paper clips. I put my pockets down, um, which are like the first things that I normally do with the journal. And so now we're going to get started on some fun stuff. I have some new printables that I put out um, yesterday. Um, I said last time when I was decorating that I was really going to be missing these journaling spots that I got from this one scrap of paper. Where, where's an example? There's an example here somewhere um, of them like this right here. Um, so there was some and then this like this quote here, which is really cool. So I really wanted to make my own. So I went ahead and kind of designed my own little journal spots um, that could go in places like this page right here. I could even make them bigger. Look at that. Um, but I'm really excited about these because I also um, I designed some lined ones, designed some uh, short skinny ones, some long skinny ones. And um, I also designed some with quotes, so I'm so happy that I did this. There, there are six pages of, of quotes in this kit. It's an 18-page kit, six pages of quotes, and 12 pages of lined and um, non-lined, just really pretty images that you could write on top of. And uh, I'll link that in a minute. But I'm just so happy with all this. I'm just really excited to use them, honestly. Honestly, I'm really, really excited to use them. I thought they came out really nice, and I hope you guys like them too. Um, let me leave the link. I also have um, one for prayer journaling that I put out today, so you can check that out. The link is in this, in this uh, listing here. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Beverly. What's up, y'all? I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be back, feeling good, <laughs> feeling much better. <laughs> so that's a good thing. That's a good, good thing. So I think on this page, oh, is this one too large? Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Let me get one that's the right size then. Let's see, does this fit on here? That's more like it. I think I'll put... Uh, which one do I like the best? I'll put this one right here. So, oh, you know what? I didn't even grab. I didn't even grab my um my glue. <laughs> what am I thinking? I don't know. But this glue doesn't have the right top to it. I wonder where my glue is. Hmm. I normally have my, my nice glue with the, with the top I can put upside down. How has everybody been? I'm so happy, you guys. It feels good. I went to my mom's house today. And she made some fried chicken. It was real good. <laughs> she wanted to try our new fryer or something. So she made us some fried chicken. And it was so good. Okay, so I made these because there's some spots, some papers that are already really busy, like this one right here, and they really don't give you any journaling space. So I thought I needed to design some 
things like this so I can make some writing space. I need to make more of these that I made the other day. Not the other day. A couple months back, I should say. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't really want to put anything crazy on this one, though. No, I don't. Oh. Mm. Maybe something like this would be okay. It's just small. Mm, no. Why am I not liking that? <sighs> Let's see. Let's see, let's see, you guys. Let's see what I do. <laughs> do I want to put this on top of here? Maybe I shouldn't even care about what's on here. I'll just decorate it. <laughs> we'll just put something on here. It has a red rose over there, so let's make it more like a pink rose then. That'll look nice. I'm just in the mood to decorate today. So I figure let's finish this journal before I get started on the other ones. Because <laughs> I have other ones I gotta do. The ones I made for my most recent lives. The double signatures. And then I wanna work on single signatures. That might have to wait until next week, I suppose. So next week, I'm gonna be doing Christmas stuff. So I'm excited. Um, I already got some junk journal covers prepped so that I can make the junk journals and uh, we're gonna use my Christmas fabric and I'm really excited about it. And I also purchased um, some more of the Peltic 72 F so that we can make some of those soft fabric journals too. So I'm gonna try to make the soft fabric journals also in Christmas. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Let's put this over here. I'm really excited about that Peltex. I was able to, it's either Pelon or Peltex. I think it's the, both the names, but I can't remember which one they call it. I think it's Pelon 72F. And um, I went to go get some the other day. So now I'm just like, yes, let's get started on something. <laughs> like, let's do something. That's what I felt like. I cut out all my new jars too, my new pink jars with my scan and cut. This is all one set. Wait, no. I think I doubled up on like one or two pages because I didn't like the original color that I made the jars. And then I have my other pink jars. Not those ones. Where'd they go? <laughs> They're over here. These pink jars with pink roses on them. Those are also new from my shop. I've been adding so many things to my shop. Lately, I feel so good. So proud of myself. Oh, this will look cute right here. Just something. Let's glue something down. I do like to do something on every page. <laughs> so every page has something stuck on it. Okay, so here's a perfect spot for a quilt. If it's yeah, see, this is perfect size. See, I wanted to make some really big ones so that I could put it on things like that. This one works out perfectly. The colors are very neon, also some pastel, some dark colors, but they're all still pretty bright. And um, these were a lot of fun to design, actually. They were pretty simple, but they just look really cute. Ah, see, yes, this is exactly what I was wanting. So I think the listings might not be correctly, excuse me if I'm wrong, but both sets Say they are number one. Yeah, um, the prayer journal set is also number one because it's the number one set of uh, junk journal, journaling prayer sets. And then there's the regular number one, which doesn't mention prayer journaling. The link, the listing that I just put is for this set right here. But yeah, they are both called uh, set number ones. That is true. Um, let me see here. I want to see if I have um, my florals. Where are they? Where are my florals? Ah, here they are. And I still, oh, good. Okay, cool. I thought I had ran out of them. 
And I still have some of the, the ones that inspired me to make these little journaling spots. So if I can still fit them in, I will. Definitely, I'll put those off to the side. Now, let's see if I can find something that'll fit this. This could fit right here. You know what? I'm not going to be picky. Done. <laughs> Done. Okay, finished. Good. This will be good. Of course, filling in the pockets, that's a whole other step for me. So this is a pocket right here, this this bag. Um, but I'll worry about that later. Right now, I just want to decorate. just want to embellish. I want to make things look cute. And um, let's see. We will, I think I'll add a uh, die cut right here. That'll be cute. Okay, Jen, perhaps I, I mean, it was, it's just that they're both set ones, technically. <laughs> technically, they're both set ones. I was like, maybe I could call it something else, but technically. <laughs> okay, I like to keep my prayer journals separate from like my regular stuff, so they're still, anyways, I'm talking about it way too much. Anyway, so <laughs> let's see. Oh, this will fit right here. This will look kind of pretty. Do I like that? Do I like something else? This key to my heart is pretty cute, actually. It's kind of adorable. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. Or actually, this is supposed to have a slight bird theme, now that I recall. <laughs> So maybe we need a bird picture here. See if I have too big. I never cut up my bird pictures, y'all. I am slacking. I said I was going to cut up those bird pictures. I don't even know how long ago. And here we freaking are. And I haven't done it. Like, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I, need to, I have a lot of things to do. I, need, I really do need to get on it. Okay, this this bird barely fits on here. Um, there we go. This is better. This is for my bird ephemera set right here. I, I forgot I made this first signature like all about birds. <laughs> I stuck all the birds I could on there, so now I got to do it over here. This is my bird ephemera set. And um, printed one set off smaller than the other. So that some of them are tinier. There we go. There we go. That looks good there on that pink bag. I like it. I like it. So now over here, why don't we put a tuck spot? Put some pink over here. That'd be cute. Now I'm using my um, favorite glue, Turbo Tech Eagle by Aileen's. I just love it. I use it to make my covers. I use it to decorate. I use it for everything pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. Okay, so that's done. Now here we have another chance to put another one of my journaling spots here. That one's too tall though. So then these are all gonna be too tall. I made them all different sizes. So I have some shorter ones too. Maybe here I could put a quote actually. Let me see if I can get one with a quote for here. That would be nice. A little bit of a great story. That would look kind of cute there with that green. Yeah, let's do that one. That one looks cute there with the green on it. I like it. Oh wait. These are the quotes. I'm trying to keep the quotes separate. Okay. Okay, and this is for my fruit ephemera set. These are perfect for signatures. I have a bunch of junk journal crayons, y'all. I have a lot. I can't. I, I realize that this year is my tenth year <laughs> of selling junk journal printables. Like, wow! I opened my Etsy store in two thousand eleven. 
and now we're in 2021. <laughs> so that's a little crazy. Um, it's been fun, what can I say? It's been a lot of fun. So I got this spot right here. Um, let's put, let's see if one of these fits on here. Maybe one of these dark ones would look nice. Still need to make some more sizes in between these two sizes that I have, or all these sizes here that I have. 10 years, yes, it's been 10 years <laughs> of selling junk journal printables. Like very specifically junk journal printables, yes. It's been fun, I've been selling my, I have things pop up on my Facebook eight years ago. It's crazy, it's crazy. So go right here, that looks pretty with pink over here. Okay, then we have this side to worry about, and on this side, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I'm looking around my stuff. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have any recipes that I put down on these pages. Did I put recipes down? I didn't do that. Did I even put pockets down? I should have. Yeah, there's pocket. Okay, there's pockets. There are no recipes. Okay, cool. So let's see if there's a recipe that'll fit on top of this recipe book. <laughs> so I bought this package of like 200 recipes <laughs> from this one Facebook group. And, um, oh, look at that. It would be kind of cool. This is some like wax paper though. How's that going to stick? I don't know. So now I'm trying to look and see what I got. No, it's too thick. It's literally cardstock. Maybe that's not a good thing to stick on here. No, I don't like the way that looks. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Wait, here is this. This frame would be cute right here. That has blue. There's blue right here. Oh, that's a That'll be good. The fruit ephemera kit. It's under junk journal ephemera. No, it's under ephemera paper packs. And then we go down to the, the fruits. I think I have a couple of the fruits, but this is one of them. There you go, Latanya, right there. And I don't think I saw you say hello initially, Latanya, but hello. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's get this in here. I have to put a recipe down somewhere, though. I've been putting a couple recipes, like one, one recipe for signature or something, I think is what I've been doing. Ooh, too much glue there. Too much glue. Okay. Okay, there we go. That'll look good there. And that's got a jar. I leave this alone because there's writing space. And then we got this and this. Okay. Now, what recipe am I going to pick here? Okay. I don't need all this, but this is a little recipe for meatloaf. <laughs> No recipe for meatloaf. I don't know from what year it's from. They said vintage. I mean, it might not be. I don't know. Actually, this looks kind of cuter on this page right here. This easy meatloaf. <laughs> yeah, that's going to look cute there. Let's do that. I think I paid like $15 for 200 recipe. <laughs> no, I think it was less. I think it was only $10 for 200 recipes. I wouldn't pay $15. I think it was 10. Easy meatloaf using post grape nuts cereal, brand cereal. Are you serious? Do they really put cereal meatloaf? That's a, I mean, I've, I don't think I've ever had meatloaf. It's not a it's not a thing that was in my house, in my household as <laughs> growing up. That was not a thing. 
Beverly, I'm making it. I'm sending it to you, girl. <laughs> I'm going to send it your way then. <laughs> Since you're obviously a fan. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it uses one cup of grape nuts. <laughs> one cup of grape nuts, one cup of milk, one can of tomato sauce, uh, two pounds of ground lean beef, one quarter cup chopped onion, two eggs, salt, and oregano. Isn't there normally like ketchup? Isn't ketchup a thing on there? Oh, and then this is my little tiny labels, and I need to come up with a new set. And some floral clip art, or that you can cut out yourself, <clears throat> or I have them already cut out in my shop also. I know it's, that doesn't sound appealing at all. It's not something that was at my house ever growing up. Mm -mm. We never had any loaf. Nope. Nope, we did not. Show did not. Show did it. Let's see. What do I have over here? Oh, I didn't even. Know. This is in the wrong spot. This is cute, so I'm going to put it down. Oh, I got to do a page with stamps. Where are my stamps? Until I haven't decorated in a minute. <laughs> I have not decorated in a minute. It's been literally probably like three weeks since I decorated something. And I have plenty of journals to do. I just, I don't know. I was in the mood to make more journals that I was not going to complete any type soon. <laughs> okay, so this will stay like that by itself. Well, actually, I mean, maybe I can put a word. I need to make more of these word embellishments. No, nah, that doesn't look good. Leave that blank. This is one of my um, pastel botanical sets, ephemera sets. And again, that's it's perfect for a signature. I love making things that are like already folded in half and you can put them into a signature. I love it. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look around and see what I haven't put down on this page. I have not put down a jar as a tuck spot. I normally do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is pretty. This page. Here, we could put a jar. I made these jar embellishments a while ago. I don't remember these. Do you remember these these jars I made a while ago? I have so many of them still. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, oh, I should make more. But it's like, I literally have like 30 of them right here I need to go through. Um, we'll use this one right here. Use this one. It's going to be a little tuck spot right here. Make sure my camera looks good here. Make sure I'm good. Okay, so that'll go there, and then over here, my computer's being a little louder with, with its hum. I need to dust it. Dust it, dust it. This is some, like, um, Aristi sent me this from Greece. This paper is in Greek. What did she say they call themselves? Helena? No, it's not Helena. How do you say Greek? How do you say Greece in, in their language? How do they call it? Helva? Something with an H, no? Hmm. I'm trying to think about it. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Okay, and then over here, we got to do something with this page. How exciting. <clears throat> Let's put it. This one with the roses. That would look so pretty with the roses, and it's all nice and light. Seafoam green with the... Oh, that's good. I love it. Huh. 
Hi, Jane. Hi, Miss Gigi. How are you? What's going on, everybody? So go over here. That looks so pretty in that seafoam green. I love it. I really do. I really do love it there. It looks so nice. Let's see, what else do I have to put over here? What do I have? What do I have? There's some things I need to reprint. This would actually look really pretty here with the blue because there's blue over here. I don't really want to block the writing space, though. Ah, I know what to do. Where are my stamps? <laughs> okay, here they are. They're, they're not far. They're not far at all. <laughs> Yes, I'm glad I'm back. <laughs> Took a couple of days off. I know, I know. A couple of days, a couple of days, but we're back. We're back at it again. Okay, there's this stamp. Oh, look, it's Disney. Dis Walt Disney. That'll work. He's There's some, like, teal elements there that are kind of cute. We'll put this purple stamp, and then add ah, this orange stamp. That'll look cute. That'll work. That'll work. Where's my glue? Here it is. Okay. Go right here. And the purple one. And then the yellow, like orangey, whatever color this is. It's a very bright orange. Yeah, I guess it's more neon orange than anything else. So that'll go there. I like to do three stamps somewhere sometimes. <laughs> okay, so now over here on this side, maybe we could put some birds. <laughs> we'll put another set of birds. Oh yeah, this one looks lovely on this page. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love it. I love it. Give me a little thumbs up if y'all are not busy. I would appreciate it so, so much. It really helps me out. I can't believe I'm getting close to 10,000 subscribers. That's crazy. Thank y'all so much for stopping by and watching my little videos. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Okay, so this bird will go right here. And we can get the glue off of me. I can't stand the glue. Oh my God. I know, Jen. <laughs> Uh, sorry, what I miss. Oh, you're too nice, Jen. Thank you so much, girl. I appreciate your support. Appreciate your support. And I'm coming out with new stuff every single day. I'm really trying. I need to get back on the grind, y'all. So I'm putting out stuff basically pretty much every single day. Like, there's something new in my shop. I've really been trying to do the thing. I'm trying to do my little design thing the most I possibly can. I'm still working on my um, newest kit, which is called Ambrosia in Vogue, and uh, that should be coming out soon. I'm um, practically ready to pull the button on it. Practically, practically ready to, to get it ready for sale. So I'm really excited about it. Put in a lot of work. <laughs> It took a lot of my brain energy, and um, I hope y'all can see why I've been designing junk journal kits for 10 years. I hope y'all can tell the quality. You know, I just really hope you can tell that there's quality in my work. I really do take a lot of time to work on my designs. I don't do nothing in 30 minutes. It literally takes me, it took me to design this kit it took me nearly eight hours. <laughs> so for me to design like a whole kit that's very, very intricate, that literally takes me like two months. It's a little intense. It took me the longest time to come up with a name for it. 
but I'm really happy with the name I chose. So I think it sounds fancy. <laughs> sounds pretty fancy to me. So I like it. Let's see. Oh, this graph here. I don't know why I want to put this graph here, but I really do. I think it makes kind of an interesting um, background here for writing. This is from my graph set ephemera, ephemera kit, ephemera set, whatever you want to call it, kit set. I call it kits when, you know, it's all inclusive. These are more sets, sets of things. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jane. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're too kind. Y'all are too kind. And I thank y'all so, so much for your support. Literally for the last 10 years, y'all have been keeping me going you guys i love it this community honestly has been so nice to me and um I'm, i just don't know where else i'd be <laughs> without y'all's support so thank you so much thank you thank you okay so this will go right here that looks beautiful there and I love it. And here's a post-it that I stuck down. <laughs> stuck down a post-it and we're all good there. And now maybe we could put a quote. Let's see if we can put a nice big quote here. Could almost make it into a pocket. Actually, that would look really pretty because there's like some orange on this page. I'm kind of feeling it, and the pink with the blue, it really makes it stand out. I love it. I'm really glad I designed this. I really, honestly, I did not want to go back to designing. I mean, I didn't want to go back to decorating journals unless I had these quotes that were, like, in my head that I just needed to design. Because <laughs> really, like, I design... Yeah. For junk journals, and I also make junk journals. Oh, I said I was going to make that into a pocket, and look at me. Look what I did, you guys. I didn't make it into a pocket. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so as I junk journal, I've come to notice things that I really want to put in my journals, but I don't have. So I have to I have to make it happen. I have to design it. And uh, that's, that's what I do, you guys. That's what I do. For a while there, I was kind of in a funk, but you know what? I feel like that funk is gone. I feel like I want to design, and it's it's becoming a fun game again, and so I'm really, really ready to, to get back at it this year. I'm really, really excited, so definitely check back my shop. You'll see new designs. You'll see new designs all the time, and I do appreciate y'all's support on my jump from Etsy to my own private Etsy, which means I'm not on Etsy search. So all the traffic that I get, I'm literally, it has to come from me. So I really appreciate your guys' support because it's kind of a, it was a big step for me. It was a big step and um, I'm happy and uh, it's been a grind, but you know what? Here we are, we're on it and we're doing it and it's happening. Oh yeah. I really need to make more of these word embellishments like really. I feel like I have none. I know I have like 50 of them, but I feel like I have none. Because I don't have none in the pretty papers that I have now. These are kind of like a... Oh, this one's got some foil in it. But kind of from like my old paper stash. But you know what? Let's not be wasteful. <laughs> Let's use it anyways. I think that still look pretty like this, actually. Doesn't block any of the words. Oh my God, you guys, I have all these like nose hairs. I'm sorry, they're like tickling me. It's not my nose, I'm not sneezing, it's not snot. <laughs> I need to find my little scissors so I can trim my fucking hair nose because that's so gross. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put it this way. I change my mind, I'll put it this way. I change my mind often here. <laughs> Do I need a... <laughs> Instagram, oh God, I know, I know, it's just... Instagram is a lot of visual work. I and I'm a perfectionist and I know I shouldn't be. I know I shouldn't worry about it that much, but I feel like unless I take professional photos, don't even bother with Instagram. But that's just me and that's just my head and you guys are right. You guys are right. You guys are totally right. I really do need to get 
with the program, get where the kids are at. I know, I know, you're right, you're right, you guys are right, 100%. 100%, you guys are right. And I was on it. It's just, it all seems like so much. I'm not gonna lie, it seems like so much work. I'm just a one person team here, you know? Like Prima and Michaels, they have a whole team of people just for their Instagram account. You know what I mean? And here I am, it's just me. And I know other people have their ish together and they can do it, so so can I. So, you know, I just have to do it. Give me one second. Oh my God. Anyways, you guys are right. 100%. I put a little, I kind of want to put a little flower here. I'm going to put a little flower. But I need to, I need to make it work, you guys. I really do need to make it work. So I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm telling you, it seems a little overwhelming because I'm just, I honestly, I, like, I'm just a graphic designer. But, like, I also have to be a market, per, like, marketing person, advertising person, it, <laughs> customer service. I have to be shipping. I'm all the departments. <laughs> I'm all the departments. And sometimes some departments, they don't make it. <laughs> so I really have to, um, I have to get on it. I really do. And I will. And, okay. Let's see here. I'm never on Facebook anymore except to watch Letitia. <laughs> I don't know why, but I want to put that in there. And I'm going to do it. Okay, so I think I need more birds. <laughs> I think I'm lacking in birds here. Where's a page I can add a bird to? Right here. Oh, this black and white bird would be fabulous right here. Which is just, oh, that's going to look so cute. That's going to be adorable. Yes, 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 yes. And I really want to invest. Okay, so I've never wanted an iPhone, really. Like, I don't have a need for an iPhone. But now that I um, I want to go live on Facebook, I've always, uh, on I, Instagram. I've always wanted to go live on Instagram, but I never felt like my phone was ever good enough because I buy cheapy little phones. So I've always wanted to have an iPhone just to go live on there, but I never went through with it because it's a thousand dollars. So I'm just like, eh, maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> I just, for me, unless unless I use it for work, I just don't see myself buying an iPhone. Let's see the cute blue pocket. You should make more so I can see. This pocket right here, where'd it go? Where'd it go? This pocket right here? This was fun to make. This is fun. Like I said, I just make so many of them. I don't have a need to make them. <laughs> I don't have a need to make them yet, but I, I, I could probably make more. <laughs> For no reason other than it's fun to make stuff sometimes. Right now, I'm working through my stash of stuff that I have so much of. I need to put it in a journal or it's going to drive me insane that I have so much stuff. So I need to get rid of some stuff. Oh, this one's upside down, the one I want to use. This would look pretty right there. I like that. Right now, I really need to get to making and decorating drug journals because I have so much stuff. And I need to use it. I need to use it up. So here we are. We're getting, we're filling drunk journals up with stuff that I have <laughs> laying around. Um, you know what I have not put down either is a banner. Here's one. This one's adorable. I haven't made this. Oh, this is going to look so pretty here with this and this. Yes, it looks like it belongs together. I love it. I love it. Looks so pretty. I need to make more of these too. I have everything cut up. I just need to do it. There's not enough time and there's not enough hours in the day for all the hour the, the ideas that I have in my head. The fruit ephemera is pretty out super cute, isn't it? It's it's so pretty. The the photos I got for it. 
are like so high quality that it just it, they turn out fabulous and they're just perfect for for signatures. So thank y'all so much for your support. I do appreciate it. I'm glad you like it. Print them out small and you can make um, embellishments up. You have so much of your own digital. You don't need a lot from the store. Exactly. <laughs> and whatever I see at the store, I could literally design my own version of it. It's, I love I love what I do, honestly. Honestly, I, this is what I was meant to do. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. This is what I was meant to be doing, and I'm happy that I am doing it. Except right now when I'm like, what am I going to do on this page? <laughs> uh, let's see what did I put the recipe it was a minute ago right that I put the recipe down a couple pages ago I'm not really near the end I thought we were near the end but we're not <laughs> okay okay I gotta find something to put here get over it Dave. put something there let's see what do I have I have two little things here let's see also, oh, fruit label. Yeah, this little fruit label is cute. I, I like this one better. Sunway. This is from my set of little um, fruit labels. I have a set of fruit labels. I think I have two sets of fruit labels. And they're huge. They actually print out two per page. And I print them out really, really tiny. <laughs> so they make really cute embellishments. Or just like little labels for your page. They look adorable. They look so cute. I'm printing like I don't have to go to work. <laughs> Leticia, you're funny. Hi, Donna. What's going on? <laughs> you are too much. <laughs> There's a lot in those kits. There's a lot of pages of those kits. Beware. <laughs> Beware. See, I, I need to stop printing on the back of scrapbook paper because then I don't feel like gluing it down. Um, Let's see. I think I'm going to put this, this on here anyways, because that looks kind of pretty. It's got the green that has green on it. I think it looks nice. I think I'm going to do it. Another one of my, um, this is from the journal quotes and journal spots set that I got out the other day. I look adorable right here. That right there and then here I think I'll put another botanical flower yeah let's see what will fit I should have these more organized but that's life <laughs> I should have my life more together but what are you gonna do about it what are you gonna do and, like, I want to get on TikTok, too, but, like, also, I don't know. It's, I heard it's a freaking Chinese, like, the Chinese government, like, spies on you. I don't know. Maybe I'm becoming too old. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So I never wanted to download it. I don't know. I, something suspicious that I found about it before they said that. <laughs> it's just becoming, like... Remember that one time they had those, like, the app that, like, made your face old? And then it was like, oh, that's Russian hacking app. And I'm like, what? Like, what? So now I just don't trust anything. <laughs> now I don't trust nothing. <laughs> so maybe I could focus on Instagram. <laughs> maybe I should focus on Instagram for sure. <laughs> that That's only stealing American secrets. So, I mean, I guess that's okay. <laughs> uh, but I have enough products anyways to last lunch. I'm right. I'm literally thinking of stopping buying actual products and just start buying printables. Honestly, like the printables, us designers, I'm talking about all of us, we design specifically for junk journals. You know what I mean? Like you go to the shop and you find some things that might go into a junk journal, but like we specifically design for junk journalers. So you get some custom stuff that is literally just for junk journals. That's what I love about our community. It's great. It's great. Because nobody else really is designing stuff for junk journals. There's stuff for everything else. 
for a buy for a planners for junk journaler. I mean for um, um, um scrapbookers. But there's no junk journal stuff yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you have a Valentine's Day? Yeah, I have a Valentine's Day section. I do have a, an ephemera kit that has a bunch of vintage Valentine's Day photos. Let me show you Valentine's Day here. But I've also put out some pink rose images that you might be um, interested in. Also, Jane, I mean, Miss you if you want to check them out. Uh, here's my Valentine's Day section. Chris, hi Chris, what's going on? Did I miss somebody? Did I miss? Oh, hi Om. Hello Om, hello. And then if you check out the most recent um, section of my shop, you'll see all my pink rose printables that I've been putting out. Um, pink rose printables. Uh, do you have another digital designer that you enjoy? I really like the quality work of Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Emma's Vintage Garden has always been an inspiration to strive. Her quality, her designs are really good. Really, really good. Very, very nicely designed. I do like I do um, like her work. I do like her style. And she's been on the game probably a few years before me. So she's been doing her thing. And non, let me tell you, there she has no drama. I don't know any drama from Vintage Ephemera's, uh, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Like, no drama. I've never heard anybody say anything bad or negative about her. And I like that. I like I like people like that. No drama, bring it here. I, we could be friends. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like drama. So save it for your llama. <laughs> Save the drama for your llama. I like non-dramatic people that have been in the game for a while. I mean, it's tough to stay non-dramatic, not non-draw. Uh, it is. It's it's hard to stay out of drama. Um, and so I commend her for that. Ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> I'm tell I avoid drama like the plague. I really do. I do not like drama. Mm-mm. Don't bring that over here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So here is another spot. You make me happy. Oh, this looks cute with the purple and then there's purple over here. Yes, work. I love it. These really go with any page. I'm so happy I designed them in these colors. Go with everything. No, no, thank you, Miss Gigi. Follow Miss Gigi. She also does live videos. She does live craft with me videos, so definitely follow Miss Gigi. She does her thing. Miss Patricia also does her thing. If y'all didn't know, please go subscribe to Miss Patricia. She really does her thing. Let's see here. Oh, look, I can literally add a tiny little journaling spot to that. What? <laughs> ah, so happy. I'm going to make this into a pocket first. Yes, I love it. Non intended, but ha, I'm so happy about it. Yes. Yes. Of course, y'all. Of course. Hang on, let me get more glue on here. I don't think it's enough glue. There we go. Make me happy. That looks so pretty with the green. I love it. I'm telling you, I did not want to decorate another journal without these journaling spots because 
oh my God, they really do make pages like this easy to work with. You know what I mean? Sometimes this is a little boring. Sometimes it has a beautiful flower. Okay, leave it there. But sometimes it's like this, like, okay, that's nice, but let's put some journaling space on top of it. <laughs> It's not hurting nobody to have some journaling space, okay? Ain't hurting nobody. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got the set 54 and the positive. Oh, yeah, the positive affirmation ones. Those are fun. I love positive affirmations. The house. Let's see. You can find so many vintage ephemera in library public domain. Yes. Um, I just watched your latest video, Miss Gigi. Hi, Zena. Zena popping in. I didn't see, I didn't see Zena. Why? Why didn't nobody tell me? Hi, Zena. <laughs> nobody told me. Uh, what are you looking for? The positive affirmations? Positive affirmations. They were... See. I think they were cards. I think the only thing I have for positive affirmations were cards, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look it up here. I think it's under journaling cards, though. I think they're the little cards that I did positive affirmations on. Let me look it up. Instead of trying to go page for page, I'll do two affirmations. I'm hot. Why am I hot? <laughs> okay, so this is the positive affirmation cards that I have. Yeah, Ephemera is Vintage Garden. She's on Etsy and she also has her own website. So just Google Ephemera is Vintage Garden and you will find her. She has been around the block. The girl does her thing. Good for her. Um, here I think I'll put a bird. I think I will put a little bird. The swan maybe? No. Blends in too much into the background. This is a little bit more. Oh, I already put that one down. Oh my god. <laughs> I already put that one down. Did I already put this one down too? Hang on. Hang on. Sometimes I print more than one copy of things and I literally have to make sure I haven't already glued it down. I'm doing nothing to this page. What is going on here? Something's wrong. That's way too big for that. Now I need to make some smaller ones. Or I need to print them smaller. I need to make more. I, I do like this kind of, uh, kind of design. Okay, here's a little dress. <laughs> I'm just going to glue this little dress down. I don't know. I don't know how I discovered that this had nothing on it. It feels terrible. Okay. I'm going to say I have not used that bird yet. Because here's this bird. And then. Mm, there's that bird. Nope, I don't see it. Okay. Okay, where are we? Oh my god. <laughs> Got all flipped upside down. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, we're getting there. Here we are. So, yeah, this is a cute here. I like it. I'm going to put that there. Um, yes, old maps. I love old maps. Yes, old maps are fun. But I like the actual book, old map books. Okay, I thought I was hearing yelling with somebody with their music. Look, I left a big old glob of glue there when I was being nosy. <laughs> I was peeing out. Okay. There we go. Now on this page. Put a number. Ugh, I need to redo these. These are kind of ugly. 
They're kind of ugly, freaking scrapbook papers. Ugh. Need some more of these. It's just hard because I made so many and I have to use them up. They're so ugly now to me. <laughs> so we need to use them up. We need to use them up. This will go right here. They are not. <laughs> No, it's not the ugliest scrap of paper in the world. I just, I don't like that paper anymore. <laughs> I'm such a brat, I know. <laughs> okay, this, this blocks out what's boring over here. And it kind of goes with this paper. But now I want to put a journal spot on this paper instead. So... What are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? I guess we would have to have the stripes on it. It kind of blends in too much. Hmm. Stands out a little bit too much. That color. A little bit better, a little bit, tiny bit. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Should I make a quilt? Hmm, I'm doubting everything. <laughs> um, chase your dreams. Wait, wait, this one might be the best. Best is yet to come. I don't think I've used that yet. I did print these out a couple times, so sorry if I have to like check that I have not used something before. She's happy. <laughs> okay. I've not used it, so that couldn't be look nice right there. Thank you, Miss Gigi. Why don't you go listen to music inside your house? Okay, so this will go right here. Okay. Did you... Um, yeah, this is regular printer paper right here. Yeah, because I knew I was going to put them on top of stuff. So I'm like, I need printer paper for that. So that way the pages don't be too thick. So yes, that is on printer paper. But I could also print them out on cardstock and they can be more like journal cards. So... You have that option. You have that option. Okay, so we're over here. And I want to put this red rose. I've been wanting to put this down. But yes, I prefer to print the I preferred to, this time to print them out on printer paper. Because I knew I was gonna use them out as journaling spots on top of pages. So I figured it'd be better on printer paper. I couldn't find an ephemera vintage garden either. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's still doing her thing. Ephemera vintage garden. Yeah, yeah. If you type up ephemeras, it's ephemeras with an S. Ephemeras, yeah. Ephemeras Vintage Garden. I don't want to put anything here. Um, that's good. Here's another one of those uh, fruit pages. And this one is printed on brochure paper, so it's shiny. And then let's put something over here. I can't glue stuff down here, but I can over here. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're getting that. Uh, Here. And that's my um, vintage labels, and then again, that's the floral clip art, as well as my um, I saw them already cut out too, which I love. Oh, this journal's getting all nice and chunky. All right, that's good. That's a good thing. So we're on the last signature now. We just started on the last signature, so we're we're getting there. I'm happy. I'm getting happy because I like finishing as much as I like making journals. I love get being done with journals. <laughs> I love being done with journals. Oh my god, it's 
the best part of it. <laughs> it's the best part. This will go right here. Yeah, that'll be cute. Her linens. I don't know. I didn't know she made linens. Good for her. Linens? Did you mean to say something else? Or is she literally designing linens? Who's making linens? But <laughs> I'm like, what? What? <laughs> what? Okay. So see, this is a boring photo. It's got somebody's foot on it. Like <laughs> digital linens. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know what she's been up to. I know I like her designs. They are scanned in vintage linens. I, I can't. In my good conscience, I cannot scan the fabric that I buy because I know none of them are from 1925 or prior. So it would make me turn at night to know that I am profiting off another artist's work when it's not in public domain. So that's why I cannot myself in good conscience scan things that are not in the public domain as pretty as they are as oh, as as much as i would love to make money um if she wants to that's cool no it's not on my conscience so it's, it's i feel really really deep about that like i know i want to scan my linens i really do and i would make money off of it but i i can't i can't I just cannot. Because I know what it's like to have your work stolen and distributed. And with like, that's a copyright thing. And it doesn't feel very good. I'll tell you that right now. It doesn't feel very good. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it when it was done to me. <laughs> You know what? <clears throat> I don't, I don't, I won't um, knock anybody's hustle. So if she wants to do it, if you want to buy it, go for it. Because I just, I just, I know I would want to, but I cannot, I cannot. Cover up that shoe at least. <laughs> Cover up some of that shoe there. And then over here, um, like these images right here, I would make so much money if I were to scan these images, but these are from 1960, 1970. I can't. <laughs> I could. I could get away with it. I can make money, but I don't want to make money that way. You know what I mean? That's just not how I want to make my money. There's too many copyright free images I could use that I, that's not how I want to do it. And uh, that's just me and that's okay. And others can do whatever they want. Let's see here. All right, just find one picture that'll look good there, please. Please. Ugh, none of these look cute there. I'm not like the right length. I think I used up all my skinny, long pictures. It's good quality, Daisy, so many people do it. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> totally fine if they want to do it. I, like I said, I don't knock nobody's hustle. Do what you want. Make your money. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, so I think this one will be right there. 
Yeah, it <clears throat> it doesn't feel good when people steal your artwork. It doesn't. Especially when there's really nothing you can do about it. That really sucks. So. Not my conscience. Okay, so now I think I can put a little bird. No, it's too big. Ah, this would look beautiful right here. This bird right here. Original designs, and I can make my own floor background if I wanted to. So I don't feel the need <clears throat> to steal somebody else's work. But uh, anyways, we're going to move on. Because again, I don't like drama. I don't want anybody to say that I'm starting drama. Because <laughs> I'm not. Do your thing, girl. Get your money. Okay? Okay. That's all I'm going to say. End of that story. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I ain't nobody's a drama llama mama. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, what am I going to do here? What am I going to do? Snap back into it, Daisy. Come on. Let's keep it moving. I already used that flower. That flower comes up a lot. It show sure does. Okay, this yellow one right here. This one, this one is pretty. This is kind of nice here, and then over here, I think I'm going to put. I think I'll put a number down last time. I guess I'll put a word. This one. Hey, Letitia. You've been watching. You've been watching, girl. Speaking of drama, you still have a purple border. I cannot find the setting for it. But when I rewatch my videos, it doesn't have a purple border, right? <laughs> right? It doesn't, right? I don't think it does. Hang on. I... <laughs> I don't think I, ha I don't think it shows it when I. Now I need to watch. Now I, need to look. I couldn't find the setting for it. I was really upset. I really tried to look for it, but I really don't think. Let me see, because I've been. I mean, this is just how I've been doing all my lives. Oh my god, it does show the purple border. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Now I, I really gotta look for it because that is so cheesy. That is just so cheesy. I don't like it. I really got to fix it. I don't know where that came from because I have the option turned off. I do. I... <laughs> it's going to drive me nuts. It's going to drive me nuts. Around my video. It's very small. Literally, it's like one pixel all the way around. It's purple. If you don't notice it, don't look for it because I would hate for you to notice it. <laughs> then you will not be able to unsee it. That's the problem. <laughs> You'll always see it. You know what? Let's put some stamps down on this page. And I'm going to pick them at random. So we're going to do this purple one. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. Put this right here. Yep, you can't unsee. You really can't. It's terrible. <laughs> don't notice it, please. No, don't notice it. <laughs> don't notice it. <laughs> I'll put this horse stamp down because why not? Why not? Let's just do it. So go right here.
Oh no, she's seen it. She's seen it. Oh wow, this is a really cool alligator stamp. It's huge. I don't know. I want to put this down somewhere because this is fabulous. <laughs> this is a huge alligator stamp. I don't know why, but I love it. And it's going right here. I bought a bag. Literally, this bag was stuffed with stamps when I got this. Literally, it was stuffed. I bought it for like $20 on, on eBay one day. It was a great day. <laughs> one awesome day. And then I guess, who is this? Tesla? No. Henry O. Tanner. I don't know who that is, but he's got a little rainbow. And so it kind of looks cute with the alligator. I don't know. I'm going to put that down. Um, I thought it was my phone screen. It sucks, y'all. I can't. If y'all want to unsubscribe because I have this pixelated border, like, I, do, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> I got to find the setting. It's driving me crazy now that I know it's there. Now that I know y'all can see it. I had, like, convinced myself that, like, it was invisible. It was only visible to me. <sighs> but I guess I was delusional. <laughs> Vanessa, hi, Vanessa. How are you? I got this string here. Let's see where we at. Here we are. We're over here. This, the only exciting part is where the roses are. <laughs> Everything else sucks. So, <clears throat> let's see if I can stick something here. Yeah, this will cover the ugliest part, and then it'll still have this kind of pretty border here. I'm kind of digging. I'm going to put this one down here. I'm doing good. I'm glad you're doing good, too. You're here just gluing things down to paper, like always. I am excited to start my <laughs> Christmas journals. I was going to make them one night. I cut all the fabric. I cut the the heat and bond to size. I cut the inside fabric. I cut the card stock I mean the the chipboard glued it together and I'm like yes and then I was like oh I'm so tired just from doing all that <laughs> so I have all that ready to go I've got all the easy parts done so next week is going to be um Christmas week so we're going to be doing Christmas things all week long um let's see I need to get over the matchy matchy stuff like things don't need to that they really don't Sometimes I'll be like, oh, this pink looks good with this red on this one page. And so that's why I'm going to put it on here. I really don't care what's going on in this other page. Sometimes I do because I'll be like, oh, this color is over here. Sometimes that matters. But honestly, like most of the time, I just like to match things to the page it's going to be on or just worry about more like functionality over matching. I really don't worry about matching like that doesn't match that. But it looks cute. And you know what? Junk journals, they end up looking cute anyways. They really, really do. Um, see, like, this doesn't exactly match that. But it has, like, the pink that's over here. It has the green that's over here. It has the, the brown. It kind of goes with it. And this in here, don't go at all. <laughs> These two pages don't go at all. At, and it's okay. I still think they look fabulous together. Junk journals don't have to match. They really don't have to match. That's why I just make a bunch of stuff and then it all goes in a junk journal because nothing has to match at all. Nothing at all. There's no rule that says it has to match. So don't get caught up on that. Don't you just make a bunch of stuff and then find a spot to put it in and glue it down. Really, honestly, that's that's the whole trick. <laughs> that's the trick to getting junk journals finished is just find something Stick it down. Don't worry about it. I don't go with themes. I really don't worry about themes. I don't even like themes. Themes really, I feel like, hinder me. I don't know why. I don't know why. Give me a little thumbs up, y'all, if you're enjoying the video. I really do appreciate your support. Thank y'all so much for giving me a little thumbs up. Thank you. Um. Okay, so um, what do I have? Oh, yeah, I need to put down a recipe of some sort somewhere. Healthiness recipes. They all seem, seem to be, like, recipes from, like, uh, like magazines and stuff like that. <laughs> Why are they so cute, though? They're adorable. 
Baked tuna fish cakes. Gross. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put this fish, <laughs> this tuna somewhere though. But where? Well, maybe on top of this. Actually, on top of that was a kind of cool. Put all these here to the sides. So I'm, I'm like me, exactly. Yeah. I just make a bunch of stuff and then it all goes in a dark drawer. I really am not trying to theme anything. The only thing I ever have going on is flowers. <laughs> that's my ungo that's my ongoing thing is is flowers. I just put flowers everywhere. <laughs> Look at this. 23 inch diagonal picture tube for $348. Oh my god, I could get a very nice flat screen for that price. My god. <laughs> And you know that was even way more back then. I don't know about buying a $400 TV. And that is like the old, old TV I grew up watching too. That my grandparents had. This is literally just something on top of there. <laughs> it serves no function. I just wanted to put it on there. <laughs> and that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so now we're back here. <laughs> we're back. We're back here. Um, let's see. I have this little, I don't even know where this is from, this little Via Air Mount. I don't think, this is not my design, so it must be from something I downloaded a long time ago and burned it out. So that's going to go right there because it's small and uh, it doesn't take up space. Well, watching you have been all my fun. I need to change my thinking. Um, if you feel that you uh, could benefit, go on, girl. Go on. I really don't try and stress out on it. I learned that a long time ago. Actually, all of my junk journals have been kind of just like a big old mix of stuff. <laughs> just a big old mix of whatever I put together. From the beginning, I've always been like that. Now, I do understand color theory, and I did go to art school. So I'm not going to say that it came naturally, because honestly, it did not. Um, if you want to have some sort of kind of direction, I would suggest you look into the color wheel. Because when you have the color wheel, and you understand how to use it, it does really help, actually. It does help. Let me see if I can it up if you want to look at a color wheel so like let me just show you this is already like embedded in my mind because of school but if you need help learning what to match with what let me show you i can i can i can make it why would it be the bethesda launcher let me see, is it? Okay, here, I'll, I think it's not gonna be, I think that's gonna work. Okay, so here's the color wheel, right? So basically the way you can interpret this is you see, I can, I, let me show you. I have a page and the page has a, let's go with this one. So I have this page here and it has this big yellow fruit here. So you see the yellow right here, there's the yellow slice and on the opposite side of that yellow slice is this purple slice right here. My mouse is showing weird on the screen, but it's this purple slice that's on the other side of this yellow slice. So this purple slice uh, tells you that if you have something yellow and you put something purple next to it, it's a complementary color, so they look good together. So if I got this yellow and I'm like, okay, let me put something over here. Let me put this purple because the purple and the yellow, they're opposite colors on the color wheel. So it's going to work really, really well. So if, if you're having trouble, I would probably look at a, look at a, um, at a color wheel and that way it, it'll, it'll help. It will help you, um, kind of get over what's supposed to go where, you know what I mean? Okay. So we're back here. We're back. Had to do a little lesson there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. You could just look at one online or you could print one out like Jen. You could also buy a professional color wheel. They have them on, on Amazon. 
And uh, that could help you kind of figure out what colors to put together on what page. You know what I mean? I'm just, just a suggestion if, if you're really having trouble with what goes where. That could be a way, or you could literally just stick stuff anywhere, and it's fine because it's a junk journal. <laughs> also, the color right next to it. Yes, also the color right next to it. I always go opposite colors because that creates more tension, more interest. But, um, yeah. So next to each other, opposite of each other would be um, a good mix to do. Or like I said, I literally just, I sometimes I really think about it. Other times I'm like, it doesn't go there, but I don't care. I want it to go there. So I'm going to put it there. I was taught that when you know the rules, you can break them. <laughs> That's what I was always taught. So basically in parent talk <laughs> in school, they taught me, you know, uh, when you learn something, then you know that you could break the rule. So that's what they, so they taught me, learn the basics. And then once you know what the basics are, you could do away with them and do your own thing. <laughs> okay. So let's see, what are we going to put over here on this page? <laughs> Shows what to mix with what? Yep. 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 The color with that, that also that. It teaches you how to change, how to um, change colors. But I like to use it mostly for like learning or knowing what to put on what page because the yellow is going to make the red stand out or the red is going to make the yellow stand out. So I think we're back to a number, actually. I'm going to put a number down. I'll put... Ugh, these papers are so ugly. I just don't like them anymore. i got to do all new ones. I feel hot. <laughs> feels really hot to me. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Here we go. To me, junk journals are like an eclectic mix of stuff. So to me, they really don't have to have a theme. They don't have to match. Nothing on the page has to match. It looks a little bit junkier if it doesn't match. I like it. It's fine. It's cool. Got another spot here for a journal, journal spot. Let's see. This is pretty peony. Peony, peony. Oh, I can't forget how to mention. Peony, that's what it is. Peony, oh my gosh. Peony. This will look pretty here with the brown, the orange. And this I will make it to a pocket because, oh, my God, all the times I said I was going to make a pocket and I didn't make a pocket. Oh, my God, pockets. Pockets. Maybe I should turn off the heating blanket. You should. I'm always, like, hot and cold at the same time. It's the worst. I wish it was menopause. If it's menopause, I'm happy about it. But, ugh, it's the worst now. Ah, we need another um banner. Hello, Daisy. We need a banner. I'm gonna put this one. This one just looks kind of interesting here. It's got some orange. It's got some orange. It just look a little interesting. And then orange and red. They're next to each other on the color on the color wheel. So you know we're good. <laughs> Gonna have something to match with over here on this page. Sometimes I worry, like I said, I worry something about like something matching the background with this. Sometimes I worry about this matching something over here. I, it's a big old mix. It's just a big old mix. But otherwise, I just try and stick something down on every page. <laughs> and then another thing I do with decorating is I'll put something down here and then something up here, or the opposite, or both on the same side like here or both up here or both down here like usually I try and do opposite so that's why you always see me sometimes that's the same but sometimes you'll see me um I do the thing of like opposites a lot like right well that's kind of the same <laughs> like I've kind of been doing the same thing but I'll put something up here and then something down here like that's uh how I also know where to put stuff like I'll put it here now I gotta put something up here 
it helps it helps move along you know what i mean it helps you move on to the next page and the next page and so on and so on all right we are working it i'm excited i am excited that we are getting to the end <laughs> oh i haven't put down one of these this could be a little tuck spot right here i said i was going to put something on the keys though to make it um look a little darker hang on one second uh -huh. The only thing I could find quickly was this craft colored cardstock. So, where's my scissors? I think this is big enough. Oh, I must have miss, seen miss, miss, a little bit. I need to make a little background for it. Oh my God, have y'all seen the the Richard Ramirez video on, on documentary on Netflix? That was scary. That was scary. Anyways, <laughs> I like serial killer documentaries. Sorry. Sorry about it. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. There's no, I don't, you know, you know what's funny is I don't like scary movies. I don't like scary movies. I don't like things about like werewolves and vampires and stuff. No. I'm scared by true crime. I'm scared by the real monsters. You know what I mean? So that's what I watch. I don't watch scary movies. I like scary documentaries. <laughs> I like scary documentaries. That's my thing. Thank you, Patricia. I hope she loves it. I got to send you one too. You've been so helpful and so wonderful. I think I'll send you a journal to this year. I think I'm pretty sure I will. Okay, so this is going to go here. It's going to be a tuck spot. Okay, Mr. Benjamin Benneker, do your thing. Do your thing, sir. Okay, so that's done. This is done. I got to do something here. Um, I do and hate scary movies. I do like that movies though. <laughs> I should be people watch and uh scared of the unreal. <laughs> no, I'm scared of real, real criminals. <laughs> don't give me no non don't give me no fiction. I don't want fiction. I want non fiction weirdos. <laughs> Here is a square too big for this. It's kind of not. It's kind of not too big. So this with the purple is beautiful. This with the pink is pretty too. I think I'll put the peonies one down. My all-time favorite is old. Fright Night. I've, n I've never heard of it. I need to rewatch those. Oh, oh, Dan, I want to be a vampire. <laughs> oh, the show. Or isn't there a show I want to be a vampire? Am I, am I wrong? Or your favorite vampire movie is Underworld. I'm mistaking so many things on what you said. Okay, so this will go right here. Yep, that's going there. And then over here, I'm going to get, again, my botanical images. <laughs> my botanicals. Too big, my I'm running out of these botanicals and it's really sad because like I said, I don't feel right scanning these because they're from like either the 60s, 70s, or 80s. I can't remember. So they are not old enough, but they look fabulous, man. They are just fabulous um, illustrations. And I I believe the, the artist of these is Latino, so I really <laughs> would feel bad doing that to my own peeps. I can't, I just cannot. So, it is what it is. 
I'll just use them like this. The originals. The originals. Okay. Can't do that to my own people. You just can't. Okay, so this will go good right here. Terrible stuff. Sometimes criminal mind is too much for me. <laughs> As even as a as a young teenager, I remember really, really liking crime documentaries. I'm just a big old weirdo. And a big old scared weirdo, so <laughs> let's see here. I've always had this joke and I said if I ever became a comedian, this is gonna be my joke, right? Okay. So like I like true crime documentaries and it's like they always start off real scary at night right like it's raining and they'll be like in a town like yours to a girl like you on a night like today <laughs> and i'm always on the edge of my seat no! but i i love it i love it they always do that how many pages do you put into your signature uh 13 to 15. 13 or 15 and look how chunky this is on a one like one and a quarter inch spine which is way too small for my journals i normally do a three inch spine and as you can see why because this is like a big old alligator mouth right now and i'm almost done with it and i'm actually not even done with it because i still need to put stuff in the pocket so it's gonna be really really wide i normally do a three inch spine and that'll give me some space for Everything. I think this is one of my mini drug journals, so I probably made it out of a box. Um, but normally I like a three-inch spine on these for three signatures. This really should have only been two signatures. <laughs> but here we are. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Thank you, Donna. And hi, Donna. I don't think I've seen you, Donna. Hi, Donna. Thanks for joining us. I'm so mad about that orange board, about that purple board, y'all. I can't. It's really upsetting me right now. <laughs> it's really sad okay so um let's see, let's try to put a banner let's see this little heart i haven't put this little heart nowhere this here okay and now over here mm -mm 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 -mm. i really need to print out some more of these black and white um ephemera small because you know, i ran out of the small ones i use them all up because i love them so much that i use them all up let's see what do i have over here some pictures of me melons and stuff fruits my little fruits these are the same fruits <laughs> as was in that signature but these i printed out on cardstock so they're more like little journal cards with a tiny i think i'm gonna put this here why not because that looks kind of cute it looks kind of creepy but it also looks kind of cute Oh man, and it was like another like horror to come uh, through a crime, cry, oh, true crime video, and it's like something that happened in your hometown. Like my hometown, I don't come from LA, so it's a very small town. And so when whenever I saw a crime story like from there, I was like, oh no, that's that's right for Oh my god, no, that's the worst. <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's put this. Gonna fit and also gonna fit. Let's see. So I definitely need to design some that are a little bit smaller than these, a little bit skinnier. So that way they can fit on things like that though. But this will look cute here. So I'm gonna put that keep it simple there. And I'll have to figure out what to do there. But um, anyways, we are all the way over here anyway, so. 
Let's keep it going. I haven't put a bird image down in a minute, though, either. I'll have to put a bird here. What little bird? What little bird? Here I am writing about five pages in front of me instead of the one page I'm supposed to focus on, but that's just how I roll. <laughs> sometimes I go page by page. Sometimes I bounce. I bounce and bounce and bounce. Oh, but this pretty image is so beautiful. I want to use that. Okay, so anyways, we're, <laughs> we're way over here. I'm all worried about 10 pages ahead. Uh, the women crime stories. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's terrible. I'm entertained by it, but when it comes down to it, I'm like, oh, so bad, so bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then I look over at my husband. I'm like, would he ever murder me? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, my family thinks I lost my mind. I get packages in and save the boxes, but one came in and had newspaper in it. I squeal. <laughs> You're funny. You're, I used to be the same way, Stephanie. I used to be the same way when I used to work and people would be like, why are you excited about that message pad we just got? I'm like, because I'm going to take 10 of them home. <laughs> I also, I call my mom and she has like two friends. And I'd be like, please send me all the cereal boxes that you guys finish. Any box that's chipboard, please save it for me. In a month or two, she has a big old stack of boxes for me. My mom, my mom knows that I do what I do. <laughs> There's no reason to even tell her why I need it, but she'll get it for me. <laughs> She's very supportive. It's awesome. Uh, what's even crazier is I'm packing to move and I'm packing boxes. <laughs> She's going to never get rid of all those boxes. Uh, my husband sneaks in to throw things away because I will save everything. Oh, my God. That's a terrible husband. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> did I do that label upside down, too? I did. I did. I sewed it upside down. I th you know what? It kind of works upside down. <laughs> You know what? It looks good upside down. So look at that. It's just going to be upside down. <laughs> um, uh, crafting and sewing warnings. Oh, my. Oh, you put you put warnings outside the door. <laughs> what? You guys are, like, really extra. <laughs> I love it. You got to make it work. <laughs> I'm going to put this little pot down here. It's kind of cute. This little teapot is adorable. I just try to catch him and he gets... <laughs> I, I've uh, told my husband now that I, I need to go through the junk mail because I need some of the envelopes now. I'm going to do a junk journal, a real junk journal one day. Oh, people call it a real junk journal. I hate when people say, oh, this is a real junk journal. Oh, I only make real junk journals. Honey, this is a cereal box. These are bed sheets. This is bed sheets. That's an old map book. Like, tell me that's not just because everything on there is gorgeous. Okay, just because every, everything is so well made does not mean it's not a junk journal. Does not mean there's not junk in here. Okay, that's the one drama I could start is with people that be like, oh, you use printables or like printables aren't real journals or like. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. <sighs> Clear out there. <laughs> That's the one thing that does get me a little heated is when people want to put down people who use digitals and they use Tim Holtz. It's like, you know, we're a very, very local small business, Tim Holtz, okay? <laughs> we're the smallest of Tim Holtz, so. <laughs> Anyways, moving on from the drama, because I will get, somebody's going to call me out and it's going to start real drama. Tim Holtz is going to find out what I said about him. <laughs> He's going to find out what I said. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I am going through three years of junk mail and such. I have blisters on my fingers, girl. I actually have a lot of junk mail. I 
am so bad with my junk mail. I don't shred any of it. I just literally collect it for years. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I should go through all those and take out all the envelopes. I literally have years and years of junk mail. I hate credit card offers. They literally just go in a box and I've had them for years. I need to go find a place to shred everything. I don't want to just throw it away and I don't want to shred it with my hands because it's going to hurt my hands. I just keep it forever. And now I'm thinking about, hey, I keep it forever. I really need to go and um, <laughs> I need to use them. Uh, well, it wouldn't be a journal. You can buy from the journal from the store, right? Yes, it's true. You are correct, Jen. You are correct. But <clears throat> but anyways. <laughs> anyways. Oh, I was going to put that on that pocket. How was I going to put that on this pocket? It's such a big picture. Easy. Going to cover up this literal picture of dirt. Like this book is about roses. And of course, roses go in the dirt. And that's why they're talking about dirt. But I don't want to see the dirt. I just... <laughs> Why did I include this pic this page in a junk journal? I don't know. I really can't remember what the thought process was behind that. This keep it simple here is adorable. I get this. So what do they want you to call them? I they want I don't know. Um, I call them glam journals because. <laughs> You know why? Because my friend uh, who I worked with uh, many years ago when I was I was 18 or 19, I can't remember how old I was, and she used to say she was glam goth. So you know what? This is a glam junk journal. I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to say it's glam junk journaling. It just makes it sound better. It makes it sound fancy, you know? It's a glam junk journal. So, so what? <laughs> You know, they have the regular pageants, and then they have the glam pageants, and that's okay. <laughs> it's okay, honey. It's okay. I'm just joking, you guys. <laughs> I'm just joking. But there are now Facebook groups for, like, junk, junk, junk journals, like, made out of all junk, no printables, no, like, uh, scrapbooking things like think they want like legit junk it's if they're a junk journal purists you know it's not good it's the dark side <laughs> they are a junk journal purists and we cannot stand for it <laughs> i'm just kidding you guys i'm really just kidding <laughs> oh my god it's too much it's too much guys should I coin it? Should I trademark it? I'll trademark it. I'll trademark it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you guys are too much. You guys should not be encouraging me. This page kind of has some pretty stuff, but I can't just like stick something here, can I? You know what? I can, and I'm going to, and I don't care. I'm going to do it. I don't care. If it goes the opposite way, I'm going to do it. I'll trademark it. Got it, Jen. Thank you. Will do, girl. Will do. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for believing in me. Okay, so over here, I'm going to put this over here. Mm. Mm. My nose. My nose hairs, I got to trim them. So gross. So gross, but y'all are going to think it's my allergies, but it's not. <laughs> Someone coined shabby chic, so why not? Oh, oh yeah, shabby chic. I guess I should coin glamjunkjournals.com. <laughs> I can't, y'all. I cannot. I cannot. I think I'm going to put a little banner somewhere. Is there even a page that's left? I think I've kind of done. Oh, my God. I've done the whole day in journal. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to put this here, then. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to trademark it. Don't use it now. 
I'll see you in court. I'll see. I'll see your butt in court. <laughs> I think somebody trademarked onesie too, so you can't say your product is a onesie. Even though everybody knows what a onesie is, but somebody trademarked it. Can't use it. Can't use it. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. All I have to do is, I guess I'll put something here. Um, and then I need to Oh, oh, this one would be a good to put this one on here, I think. No, 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 Okay, you guys, I am officially done here with this journal. I can't remember what journal. I think this is journal number 93 now. I believe it is number three, but I'm going to finish up putting stuff in the pockets tomorrow. And I'll probably go live with a flip through tomorrow. Let me take pictures and go live with the flip through. And then I will be able to send it on its way to Miss Teresa. Sorry, it took me a minute <laughs> to get back to you, but I'm getting back to everybody I need to get back to. Um, okay, so that is it, y'all. I am done with this journal. It's a chunky one. Like I said, I, if in, a, in an ideal world, I would have a three-inch spine, and then it would not be this big old thing that it is. But it is also a mini junk journal. I believe it's made out of a, some box that this is the size of it. I can't even remember making these. <laughs> it's been a minute since I made these. But anyways, that is it for me tonight, y'all. I am so happy I got this done. And uh, it'll be on its way to Teresa pretty soon here. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you all so much for talking to me. Give me a little thumbs up if you haven't. Please, it really helps me out. Thank you guys so much. Um, I will see you all tomorrow night. Um, if, I get, if I get to it, I will go live with this might go live with it on Saturday. I don't know. I gotta take pictures of it. Anyways, you guys, have a good night. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.